The class I want to look at first is uh, the Warrior because it kind of highlights one of the shortfalls of uh, Steel. Uh, if, you men if you remember, I mentioned that Steel for long range characters like pistol wielding thieves are completely counterintuitive, completely useless. And that's because you get into melee range. The class I want to highlight is the Warrior, which is able to have rifles and uh, melee weapons. And in it, you can see that depending on what type of weapon I have, my class defining skill, uh, in this case, eviscerate and uh, I think some, I forget the other, so, uh, something for the gun. That one changes depending on what weapon I have. So in this case, it's eviscerate for axes, and it's like a leap uh, damaging skill. And if I was to get out my rifle, it becomes a long range weapon now. And it's kill shot, which is range of 1500 meters. Uh, for the warrior, unlike the thief, it, they don't have to uh, sacrifice their playstyle to use their class defining skill. Um, for them, whatever weapon they have, their class skill kind of um, adapts to it, whereas the thief is very, very uh, static. The next one I want to look at is the uh, ranger. I don't want to go through all the classes. I'm just going to try and get through some of them to show you what the mechanic is. The ranger's class mechanic is the pet. And right now, the pet isn't the greatest thing in the world. Uh, a lot of AI issues and whatnot. But still, compared to the thief, it still offers a much, much more uh, versatility and support than steel. With with uh, the ranger, uh, you get you know you can get pets, and there's a couple of them all defined. With I think they all have like a certain class type. Uh, yeah terrestrial animals they can have um, and the best thing is F2 which is one of their skills it's uh, unique to each uh, pet so if I get out my uh, bear he has shake it off which removes the condition from myself and all nearby allies or I can switch to my uh, hound dog which has uh, intimidating howl which immobilizes enemies for two seconds and I can completely change this depending on what I want I can maybe get a four spider which has um, a poison uh, to my target, or I can get uh, a, ju a jaguar, which has uh, gain stealth. So it's, you know, again, it's completely unique to the character, and most of all, it offers uh, the player versatility. If, you know, if they don't like having stealth, let's say they're going with a poison build, uh, they can easily replace the uh, have a spider out and now they have poison or if they're going for hard CC's and whatnot they can take uh, you know a weakness or defense or they can b basically play around with everything and um, and pretty much you know make their class skill work for them rather than working around the class skill itself and the last one I want to look at is what I think is the greatest class uh, skills and mechanics is the elementless. The elementless class mechanic is uh, affinity and what affinity is depending on what affinity you are in it changes what skills you have in the bottom so right now I'm, I'm in water so it has a lot of ice and uh, rain rain skills I can switch to fire which gives me a new set of skills down here um, and go with air which also has its own set of skills and last but not least earth which has its own set of skills and what why I consider this to be the greatest uh, class mechanic is because it essentially offers you 20 different skills um, in your skill bar and you can change depending on which one you want to do you can go into earth you know burn all your cooldowns in earth and then switch to fire and you have a fresh set of cooldowns that you can burn and if once you're done with that you can go to water use that and once you're done with that, you can just cycle to air, and you have a fresh set of air cooldowns. You can basically, if you play it smart, you can cycle through uh, all your cooldowns and all your affinities. So that that's why I consider it to be the best class skill. 
just playing around with it. Yep. So that's basically why steel is so goddamn awful. It, it offers nothing unique. It um, it's counterintuitive to half your playstyle, especially if you're a uh, range thief. Um, it has a uh, way too long of a cooldown. Even traded, uh, my traded skill is I have 30% of a cooldown. It's still sitting at I think 40 some seconds, which is way too long for a class defining skill. And not to mention, it really doesn't bring anything new to the table in terms of a skill.